This is a chloride reduction device in a way to bypass water around the softener. And it does that proportionally. The same, you guys know the spitting, I'm sure, because it's the same as the bypass, it's the same as the 90s, it's the same as the check valve. Super simple, O-rings, slip fit union. Don't put it in the backwards, okay? <laughs> Everyone that we've put in so far is a sticker up. So I, I wouldn't go off a sticker, but as a, I know it's dark in basements and stuff, as a quick reference, sticker up, and then ultimately the arrows, right? So it does have directional arrows. Um, on which way to go. And you can't screw this part up really because you know, male to female. Think of this as part of the software. So when you're installing your bypass, your bypass is going to be um, you know, on this side of it. It's gonna be up, upstream of the um, inlet side, right? So sticker up, adjustment knob here, which we'll go over. It's the same, I don't know, need to tell you how to do that. It's the same exact connections. You install it here, um, your bypass would then go here and that's it. If you're retrofitting it, uh, the, only, the only piece would be the, the drain, but likely none of us in this room are gonna retrofit. Um, on new installs, it, that's it. I mean, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be five inches further from the wall, or two and a half inches further from the wall. That's it. The brine tank sticks out that far anyways. It really has no impact on the rough, um, other than make sure that it's in, and make sure that it's installed correctly in the arrow. Um, up and down for three seconds. It'll bring you to this menu and tell you what day your regen it is. Um, it'll tell you how many more gallons you need until it regen. It'll tell you average water usage for a seven day period. It'll tell you your last 60 some days of water usage right here. This stage where it flashes 0, 0.0, it's telling you your current flow through the soft. Okay, so run a number. I would really recommend for easy math, Get it to, so that it ends in point zero. You know, like if it's 1.7, you're probably gonna need it. Um, I would shoot for like a two or a three GPM and then um, have it in the fully closed position, okay? And then open it with the same exact flow going, open it to the point where you see this number drop from 2.0 to 1.9, 1.8 to 1.7. You know, that's, that's where we're shooting for that 10%. Thank you.